Aronda was among those that understood very well our four ideological principles and the three historical missions. It is those officers that fully understand our involvement in South Sudan, Congo, Somalia, ETC. Therefore, General Aronda was outstanding on ideology, discipline, but also management skills. He took the lead in starting the Wazerendo Sako. We had talked about it, about this, but it had not been implemented. I don't know why. You can discuss it in your meeting. Therefore, the people like General Aronda, educated and from oppressed masses, from the oppressed masses, came forward to join the resistance we had initiated right from the student days. Their education and ability to write and read documents in English quickly qualified them to work in the intelligence and the political sections of the army. Some like Tinyefuza, Magara, Tumwine, Tumkunde Henry, Sande Mukuru, ETC also took, took on combat roles early in the fighting. As already pointed out above, even the PCs having undertaken command courses after the NRM came to power were able to fill the gaps created by the massive death caused by natural causes among the historical co combat commanders. The late General Ronda implemented the formula of the Wazarendo. Has it not helped the soldiers? Has it helped you? A mess idea? Uh -huh. Now, if Wazarendo has helped you, why then not the others? Why do we, don't, don't you implement all the others? The ones who have been, which I, I guided you from the beginning, the good thing is that may I write. I have understood why uh, these people are writing the Bible. Somebody writes to, you, you, you write, St. Paul to the Corinthians, to, to the, these ones, to this one. When you are in heaven, people will check. The man who wrote, I, I always write. Fill the gaps and UPDF will be formidable. Long live the memory of our fighters, like General Ronda. May the Almighty God bless their descendants and reward their patriots. I'm very happy to see the Ronda clan. General Ronda Nyakirima was our longest serving Chief of Defense Forces and later Minister of Internal Affairs. He is important to our history because of his significant contributions to the stability and security of Uganda. It was during his leadership that we, the UPDF, finally defeated the Lord's Resistance Army and expelled them from Uganda permanently. His role in regional peace efforts, for example, uh, leading us into being the first country to deploy in Somalia in 2007 under uh, the African Union mission in Somalia, proved that he was a stabilizing force in our region, East Africa. In his role as Minister of Internal Affairs, General Ronda worked on key reforms, including spearheading the National Identity Card Project and rebuilding the Department of Immigration. He 
his integrity and dedication to public service have left a lasting impact on the nation's security and governance. Remembering and honoring General Ronda is important because he symbolizes commitment to national service, security, and peace. His leadership and reforms have had a lasting influence on Uganda's defense forces and even on our civil administration. I take this singular duty to welcome you all to this opening ceremony of the late Honorable General Aronda Memorial Function at Munyonyo Commonwealth this 10th day of September 2024. As you may recall, the late Honorable General Aronda passed on in the line of duty on 11th December 2015 while serving as the Minister of Internal Affairs. Your Excellency, Sir, and distinguished guests, the culture of commemorating the life, achievements, and legacy of the fallen national heroes is a major building block in communicating a correct ideology and inculcating national values among the citizens. Of the late Sarah Matachinjawa Shitsi, who departed from us over the weekend. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you so much. <laughs>